Here! All of you, keep your eyes open and find me! For Catwoman, revenge is swift. The dark, moody Arkham take on toys, if you can call these monstrous figures that, is a use a whip and generally move a little faster than Batman in combat. Catwoman's revenge makes good use of each, though I wish I'd been able to let her loose in a less confining environment. With its dark, twisting corridors, plenty of underground spots to hide and lots of climbable ceilings. Consequently, the first section, which requires Catwoman rhythms as the Riddler throws wave after wave of robots at you in an electrified arena. The sheer volume of them made this quite a difficult fight at the end of this fight, there's very little to do in Riddler's Secret Factory. There are a handful of collectibles and a half-baked puzzle I quickly solved through trial and error. through a couple of new AR maps. Though they virtually rehash the beats of its campaign, sneak then fight on an electrified floor, I had fun fighting against tougher enemies and sentry guns. It's a delight to put Catwoman's skills to use against Arkham's more formidable foes. Still, I was left hungry for Batman Arkham Knight Catwoman's Revenge has a wonderfully twisted setting, but an all too brief campaign doesn't utilize it enough. Like Arkham Knight's Batgirl DLC before it, this is a blink and you'll miss it affair. For more on Batman Arkham Knight, stick with IGN. Ready to die.